What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to go over what is probably my favorite one-two punch running combination in Madden 19, and that's going to be from the I-Form Slot Flex Formation. I'm in the Carolina Panthers playbook, and it's going to be the halfback toss and the halfback dive. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'll talk about why the I-Form Flex Formation is so important, rather than just the I-Form Slot Formation. But right here, like I said, Panthers playbook, this formation is in a few other books as well. And we're going to go ahead, we like to come out in the toss. I have the dive as an audible, and I also have 95 mic as an audible. Uh, that's a run that's, it's kind of like an inside zone. I run that very sparingly in certain situations. But everything starts with the toss. We'll go against random 4-3 formations here against the Jaguars. And so the reason the I-Form slot flex formation is important is because you can playmaker this toss to the left. In the I-Form slot, the normal I-Form slot formation, you can't flip the run to the left. So having the ability to run the toss to the left or the right is really what makes this scheme and forces your opponent to contain the edges on both sides of the formation, which opens up everything else. And so not being able to flip it to the left out of I-Form slot, uh, you won't really have that same you know, pressure on your opponent where they have to respect the left side of the field just like the right. But right here, uh, you're going to actually see an action. We're going to go ahead and run it to the left. So this is why it's so important to have that the ability to have it flipped right there. We're able to get up field, get about five yards there. And that's really what you're looking for. You know, getting five yards a pop is really demoralizing for your opponent if you're just running the ball down the their throat. Um, right here, Looks like a 4-3 wide 9 right here. I wouldn't really go with the toss. You might want to go with the lead dive or maybe like a 95 Mike. So in this case, 95 Mike. They got some nice block sheds up the middle. The Jaguars are a tough team to run against. Uh, but really, everything starts with this toss play right here. Numbers to the outside. If they don't base a line, you're going to have a ton of room to work with on the outside. If they do base a line, that's where you're able to flip it to the left. So right here, you see that cornerback to the outside might be Jalen Ramsey to the right. So they might have the numbers on that side of the field. This is where being able to flip the run to the left and run it left and get to the edge out here is so important. So now they can't just say, okay, I'm just going to put a guy out there and stop him from running toss right because then you can just turn around and run toss left. So right here, we're going to go ahead. In this case, I'd probably run maybe the 95 Mike. You kind of have to hope your guys hold their blocks right there is kind of what you're looking for and get up field uh, against the spread out line. The 95 Mike works pretty well, I find. Uh, but like I've been saying, everything revolves around that toss. The lead dive is just something just to pop in there every now and then like that. You're not looking for anything huge, 5 to 10 yards a pop uh, if they're overreacting to the toss and really, really spreading everybody out. Right here, once again, toss right. You want to wait for your blockers. Be patient. Don't start instantly sprinting to the outside. Be patient. Let that guard and let your fullback pick up their blocks and then hit the hole and burst through it. So right here, once again, be patient, hit the hole, burst through, then try and make a move, make some guys miss once you get into the open field. Don't instantly start trying to make moves and, you know, hitting the sprint button because then you're going to get caught up like right there. I got caught up behind my lineman, tried to get a little too hasty to the outside, get caught up, and uh, it, it results in some bad gains. But right here, be patient, let your guys develop their blocks, get up field, pick up five or six yards. But this has been probably by far my favorite one-two punch so far in Madden 19 between the lead dive and the toss. Very, very frustrating with your opponent having to defend the toss to both, you know, sides of the field. Um, it's, it's very difficult to do, you know. It's not easy to defend both sides of the field way out there whenever tosses are pretty effective this year. And so really having that pressure uh, for a similar reason, something like I form close is also very good at this with the, the eye close has the toss, which you can run to the right or flip to the left, and they have the halfback lead dive. So that's another formation you could look at other than just slot flex to kind of run this scheme out of. But as you can see, the toss is going to be very effective at getting you to the outside shoestring tackle right there uh, by Brown. And, and you're really going to be able to establish this running, running play in particular and get a lot of yards, and it's going to be very frustrating for your opponent. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take it easy.